Um, what was the next thing I wanted to do? Oh, I want to put the bridge, some new bridges in. Um, how about we leave that for now? Because there's, we got other fish to fry right now. Uh, what do I want here? I want this guy. Okay, so we're going to need a whole whack of bronze. Okay, that's the Cassiterite. Oh yeah, did I show you this is all the limonite that I mined out so far? There's still a bunch more down there. And I think I found another hematite deposit somewhere too. Oh, that's the arrow I won. Okay, one, two, three... All right. Um, do, do, do. Well, let's put some of the stuff away. That goes in there. I guess that's going to get tossed. Here's the stick box. You can go in the arrows. I don't need the shovel for a while. The shovel's almost dead, but I have some bronze and I have a... Uh, a oh, shovel to saw and I have a saw mold waiting waiting to go so that's fine okay now what's the ratio here again I want one two three four of those and I want 50 of these 32 or not 50 of these uh 46 of these Right. That'll give me 16, 16, 32, 46, 54 to 50 is 8%. Oh, let's do the other one while we're at it. Uh, whoops. Oh, I need more. I only grabbed a partial stack when I was there before. Two. That there and one, two, three, four. Okay. That should be enough to get us started. And we will almost certainly need more molds. Always need more molds. So let's do that. You'll do my hard earned birch. Fortunately, there's a lot of it around here since it's native. And 11 o'clock, nine hours, so sometime tonight, around eight o'clock. All right, so while we're waiting for that, I guess I can go and prepare the site of the bloomery. Okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I have a probably have a partial bronze uh, mold around here somewhere, don't I? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's keep track of these guys in the order that we pull them out in. And let's put him back there and grab the rest of our... Oh, they're over here. Drain these puppies out. OK. 
Okay, that's him done. What, you cooled already? <sighs> you suck, man. There's no way. There's no way you could cool that fast. Cheater. Alright, I'll... Uh, you've seen me pound stuff into sheets before, so I'll probably bring you back once I have all eight of the sheets, and then I'll show you how to build a, and a, a bloomery block. See you then. Bye. Well, it took me all night, but I did finally get all those uh, double bronze sheets made up. See? Eight of them. That's what we need. Uh, come over here to the crafting table. And uh, in case you don't remember from the episode when we... Have we done... Well, actually, maybe we haven't done bronze sheets. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I should have recorded some of that. Well, we'll see. Um, actually, I may have recorded some of it, in which case I'll, you'll have already seen it and you won't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, so each double, each double sheet of metal requ requires two single sheets of metal and each single sheet of metal requires a double ingot, which requires two ingots. So each of these guys is four ingots of bronze. I need eight of them. That was 32 ingots of bronze. So you can see it's a fairly expensive uh, proposition making up one of these bloomery blocks. But once you have them made up, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like making a chest. Put them around, bam, you have yourself a bloomery block. And now, let's go make ourselves a bloomery. Okay, so I've already cleared this spot off for it. Uh, okay, so what we need is we need a base of two um, and then we need a chimney at the back um, I guess this dirt will do for now we just need something to put this up on top whoops let's use a shovel that's what it was meant for I have to move these stack of wood at some point too okay and that's the way that's the, sort of what the minimum structure looks like. And then the bloomery block itself goes right in the front like that. Okay. Now, um, so what ends up happening? Oh, I should have brought some ladders with me. Hang on while I go get some of those. Do, do. Ooh, bit of leg. All right. Um, this side looks good. Okay. So what ends up happening is you put coal and iron in here, and then you light the bloomery block down here, and it will smelt your iron. Now, you can put up to uh, eight iron at a time into this bloomery, but you can make the bloomery taller. And each level you add onto it lets you put in four more iron ore. So I'm only going to make it one more taller. And one, two. Yeah, that's right. And the reason for that is because um, there is a limit to it. I think, I can't remember if the limit is four. Uh, it's at least one level higher than this. It might be two. But the reason for it is because if I make any higher than this, I can't actually reach inside of here to break out the bloom. You'll see that more in a moment when I actually show you how, how we use it. Um, whereas this is sort of like the bare minimum level at which I can kind of get at everything. So I don't ever bother building it bigger. This will allow me to, like I say, throw in, th smelt three, th three, 12 iron ore at a time, which will give me three ingots worth. So uh, let's just get rid of this stuff now. It's in my way. Okay. All right.
I don't need that stuff. I don't need this stuff anymore. Don't need the ladders anymore. I do, however. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Um. Oh, whoops. Like I said, I only need 12. Okay. Maybe I should use up the, uh, yeah, actually. Let me use up this stuff first. Use up the hematite first. Whoops, I think I put the coal, charcoal up here. Okay. So, the way it works is you first have to lay down um, uh, eight charcoal, a layer, you know, basically an entire block of charcoal. Now, from here, right now I'm right clicking on the very, very bottom. It's too far away for me to actually put any charcoal in, but I but the side of that block is within range, so I can do it from here. Five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight charcoal. Then I get to throw in 12 iron ore, and then a, the same number of charcoal. Hmm. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Hmm. Looks like it didn't accept... How many didn't it accept? Four, it only accepted eight of each. Hmm, I must have my numbers off. Okay, well, anyway. So it took eight of each, not 12. I'll have to figure out why. And then we use a fire starter to light it here. And you can see now it's lit. Yeah, see, it isn't even full. One, two, three, four. Did I not put enough charcoal in? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Odd. All right. I'll go look that up to see what it is I'm doing wrong. Anyway, uh, the other thing we want to do is put this guy up here, put the charcoal in him. And... Hmm, might want to move the iron out here as well, but for now that's good enough. Now this thing, I don't know exactly how long it takes. I, I have forgotten. Um, it may be 19 hours as well, the same as the charcoal pit. I think it's actually longer than that, but it takes the better part of a day for this thing to do its smelting. So it's not like something we're going to sit around here and wait for. Ooh, some of our crops have actually come in already. Oh yeah, you gotta love those onions. Oh well, since we got some time to kill, let's kill it. Okay. Get some fresh seeds, and uh, we'll just drop it in here. Oops, knocked a seed loose. Uh, this is onion. And this was onion. Oh, that's why I need an extra sign, just because I forgot to pick up the sign for the race last time. Uh, signs, there you go. And food. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to bother doing anything else. I'll uh, just wait for the, uh, I'll wait for that uh, iron to finish smelting and then bring you back in so that you can show you how we then work it. See you in a bit. Well, the bloomer actually finished up more quickly than I expected it to. You can see that the light's gone out and I didn't, I don't actually know how long it took because I was inside faffing around at the time. But it is now done. So let's head on up here and have a look inside. And that's the bloom down in there. Uh, and you can see I, during the away time, I went and expanded, doubled the size of this chest out, and now I've moved the limonite and the rest of the hematite out here as well. 
but let's see you should be able to reach this with the pick and that's how you break the bloom loose is with a pick and then if i just crowd into the corner here it'll pop into my inventory through the magic of minecraft okay so you'll see that what i have here is a raw iron bloom and it says 200 percent so that means basically there's enough for two full ingots in there okay so the first thing we need to do is get this guy heated up so that we can work it on the uh, anvil um do i have a nope oh, right, let's make one fire starter and yeah i'm aware that i don't complete a lot of my sentences I'll have to do something about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have a... Here's my... Right. And I have a hammer in there and have some flux. That's all I need right now. So the first thing we're going to do, this is a bronze anvil here. And since we're working iron, the only thing we can do with it is uh, form it into ingots and double ingots. We can't actually do anything else with it. Um, to do anything further, we would need to have an iron anvil. So what we're going to end up doing is having to hammer out a bunch of double iron ingots, seven of them, and then make our iron anvil out of that. So I'm just going to show the first, the pro this first step in getting this into a double ingot. And then I usual thing, I'm not going to bore you showing me doing it six more times. Uh, we'll move on to something else since I have a few more, a couple other more interesting things to do than watch that. And then during the off time, I'll, uh, I'll uh, make the ingots and probably bring you in back in to show you making the anvil. Even though you've seen me make two anvils already, it's fast. So at least you get to you know celebrate with me moving more firmly into the Iron Age. And I think this has to be either high in the yellow or in the yellow white in order to be able to work it. So, <clears throat> tempted to run out. Okay, let's quickly see if we can get some milk from the cows. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's put these onto our bar, our hot bar. I'm uh, not comfortable. Okay, where are you at? You're at orange. All right, let's see if we can quickly milk these cows at least. Okay, there we go. I can't do you again yet, right? No, not yet. Uh, you're a female, you're a female, you're a female, are you old enough? No, probably means there's another one wandering around out here, but I. It's male, isn't it? Where do you get to? Uh, I'm worried my bloom's going to melt, so I'm going to come back inside here. Because if it melts, I'll lose it. Yellow white. Yeah, if you don't want to lose it, put some... Um, you'll, you'd need to put enough molds in here to hold it. Like, if it turns liquid uh, in here, then it will run out and run into the bottom of the... Uh, of the forge but you can put empty molds in at the side over here and then instead of it running out the molds can catch it um so what we want here so the first thing we need to do is uh, so this is a raw iron bloom so we have to hammer basically i think you're hammering you're hammering the carbon out of it and you're also it's a spongy mass of bloom so you're hammering it down into wrought iron and that we just need to finish off with three of any kind of hit. So sort of the usual sort of thing for processing this. One, two, three. Okay, now you see we have a refined iron bloom. So the next thing we have to do is, since this is enough for two full ingots, you'll see that all we have to do is a punch, which is basically splitting it in two. But again, the punch has to be the last thing and has to end up between these wings here. We don't have to be very accurate on this. So I can just do this and then... Oh, that just left me outside. Ah. This should do it. There we go. And so that punch gave me now two 
100% refined iron blooms. So each of these now is enough to make a single ingot. So once again, we just have to process them down into a uh, wrought iron ingot by ending off with three hits. There we go, wrought iron ingot. Do the same thing to this guy. And then we weld them together, and that's our first wrought iron double ingot. So six more of those, and then we can make a uh, make a wrought iron anvil. But like I say, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's get rid of this. First, let's find that last cow. I think it's, like I say, I think it's a male, but... He's wandering around free here somewhere. Where the heck did he go? He was just over here earlier. <laughs> I thought he was a, thought he was a creeper. And so I ran inside and then I turned around looking and it was just a cow. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure he was a male. So let's come into the brew house. And oh, I should have brought a sign for this guy. So what we do is we put the milk in here. And the trick with this thing, I screwed this up once before off camera when I was uh, practicing. Um, the trick here is, so all of these barrels will take up to eight buckets full of whatever it is you're putting in them, water or milk or whatever. So they, they, they're full at eight, at, you know, eight buckets worth. But we're going to want to add one bucket of vinegar in here. So you got to make sure you don't put more than seven milk in. Otherwise, you'll have a bucket full of milk that you can't turn into cheese. So we come out of there. So I'm not going to bother filling it up just because I'd have to wait for the cows to become, uh, to replenish their udders. So I'm just going to go with the three milk that are in there. Add vinegar to it. That gives me curdled milk. And now we seal it up. And we wait a while now to give us our cheese. Okay. So I don't need... Oh, I'll hang on to the buckets. Um, might as well go to sleep because the next thing I want to do is outside. And it's easier to do that if the mobs aren't prancing about. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put a bridge in here. Now. So I could just like lay planks create a cross and that would be pretty boring. So I'd like to give it a little bit of an arc. But I don't want to be too steep. So let's see, a bridge normally starts off as steep, evens out and then steeper back down. Uh, what's the middle point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. So the middle point is these two here. Okay. I'm just building these as a backstop since I'm going to be using, um, going to be building a plank, so I need something to place them against. Okay. Let's. See, so we're supposed to start off fairly steep, so we're going to have to run up in a curve to about here, and then level off. Alright, so let's start off with, go up every two for a bit. I think I missed one. Yep. Oops. Fell off. And then we switched every three. And then we can go to every... Hmm, where do we want to go? Three one more time. Let's see what that's. Three one more time would be kind of a more gentle. All right. 
Let's do another three. And then we can switch to four. And I guess it'll just have to be straight across at this point. Am I okay with that? What is that going to look like? Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. All right. Uh, fall off again. So that means we bring all this across to here. One, two, three. Oh, we need a place to stand again. And let's repeat from this side. Two, three, threes. Okay. Oh, jeez. No wonder I need a bridge. I keep. I can't stay on my feet. All right. Do I have enough? Looks like I might just have enough. Uh, no, I need at least 16. Yep, need just two more. Ooh, am I gonna get hung? <laughs> Let's see if I get hung up on the edge of my roof. If so, I'll just trim the roof back a bit. Oh, need more birch. Come on, saw. You're going to break this time, aren't you? You're going to break this time. No. Oh, man. I mean, it's not like I want the saw to break, but it's just amazing that it doesn't. Yeah, I'm going to get hung up on that roof, so I'll have to modify it a bit. Okay, and then we want to take up all the straw, which is going to be tedious, so I'll probably just cut out and come back when I'm done taking all this up. See in a bit. All right, and there's our completed bridge in all its glory. And so you see there's, I end up with a bit of running water underneath from uh, some of the uh, thatch blocks I placed. Now I can fix that if I really want to, but it's actually kind of, no, you can't hear it over the music right now, but it's kind of neat having the uh, running water sound. So, Let's see what it looks like from the side. Uh, not much of a curve to it, but eh, it's okay. I like it. it. Looks nice. Better than the lily pad thing. Ooh, looks like tomatoes are pretty close to coming in. So now we have a nice solid thing. And yeah, I, I do bump into the roof here. Boom. So I think I'll just trim the roof back by, oops, I'm not sure how much. Don't want to have to trim it by, back by an entire block, but I may like take either the last one or two rows of uh, planks off the edge, which means I'll have to do it the other side as well, but that's not a big deal. All right. Oh, 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 I bet you're, oh, come on. Automation is not my friend here. All right, let's go have a look and see if our cheese is ready. It is cheese. We have cheese. Yeah, that's uh, this is the first world I've ever made cheese in in Terraformer Craft. Um, okay, so according to my rules, I can't actually eat this cheese because it came from milk, which came from animals. However, I am going to make an exception and eat just one one slice of the cheese just because it's you know it's my first cheese man and you want to enjoy it with me don't you of course you do now the only thing is when i look at all the booze that we have here we don't have any wine 
So failing that, what's the best? I think cider. I think cider's the best thing to go with uh, cheese. Alright. Yeah, we sit down at our little table here as much as we can. And a bit of cheese and cider. Ah, and enjoy the evening sky. This would be the perfect time, eh, for like a skeleton riding a uh, spider to show up. Actually, I don't know if we have... I don't know if we have spider jockeys in uh, TFC. Certainly have spiders, though. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, what do we want to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do the anvil, but like I say, I'll do that off screen. So why don't I do that now? And just in case the next thing we want to do is actually make something on the anvil. All right, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I have my seven wrought iron double ingots. So the usual eye shape. Get them into an anvil. There we go. Huge, heavy. We have an iron anvil now. Haha. All right, so let's grab the flux and the hammer from the other guy. Still lots of use left on that hammer. So now I've still got a couple of nice hot ingots here. Uh, so we can no longer, once we get up to iron, once we get away from copper and bronze, we can no longer just take a mold, you know, like one of these molds and pour the metal into it to make tools. We have to hammer our tools out. So, um, what we need for that is a plan, just like we did with the armor before, really. So now we have to do it to the tools as well. Okay. Um, well, actually, I think there's already plenty of paper in there. But Oh, yeah, there's lots of paper in there. Well, before I do this, have I already made up the plan for it? Just plate, plate boots, plate helmet, plate greaves. Nope. I should probably move those up. We'll do that later. Okay, so let's say I want to make a pickaxe. Make up a plan for it. Put the pickaxe in here. Pickaxe head, rather. And then the usual thing where we got to follow the rules. So in this case, I want to end off with a draw, a bend, and a punch. So a draw, which will go to the left, and then bend and punch, which will go a bit to the right. So probably want to be just a little bit to the right of that center mark. Ooh, that's... So let's say draw, bend, punch. Ah, pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. So there we go, and now we have a wrought iron pickaxe head. So, so basically, we no longer get the cheap molds. But I will probably like I'm I'm firing up some bronze here right now because there's stuff that I don't go through very quickly, like knives and uh, uh, saws and and. Um, what are these things here again? Scythes, things like that, as I don't go through them very quickly, so I might as well make them out of bronze. Especially since I have so much of it left. Same with hammers. Oh, something else. Uh, earlier I was talking about how I had this, you notice I've reduced the size on this, I had this three high, and I was expecting to be able to smelt 12 in it. Um, the reason it wouldn't do it is because I'm running an older version of Terra Firma Craft. Um, I can't remember the exact numbers. But it's uh, I'm a couple of versions off before they added the you know the expansion on the uh, on the bloomeries here. So what I did is I made a second bloomery because since I could only do up uh, eight iron ore at a time, that's only two ingots at a time, and this takes almost most of a day. So I'm basically doing one, two single ingots, one double ingot a day. It's going to take me seven days to do up all the iron for the anvil. So it was actually faster for me to spend the time to go and make all the double 
bronze sheets to make another bloomery block and build another bloomery here. Just so I can, you know, work on, I can uh, smelt four ingots of wrought iron at a time. So, uh, if I'd, so that ended up saving me a day. If I'd thought of it sooner, I could have saved myself two days, but I don't know. So, and I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's see, we did do the cheese, right? Yep. Okay. And that was, because that was the only other thing I guess I wanted to make sure we got covered off. And, uh, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you back for the next episode. Bye.